Good morning, everyone. So today, we are going to learn more about the different propaganda techniques. This, we are now in week 5 of quarter 2, and we are going to start a new lesson. All right? My name is Teacher Maricel Drio. So I hope that you are going to learn something today. Okay, so before we start with our lesson, let's try this activity first. Arrange the following letters to form the correct word. So you are going to think of the word that is related to our new lesson. So what do you think? All right, yes, very good. It's propaganda. You are correct. Next one. How about this? Great job. It's bias. And the next one, what do you think is this? Yes, good. It's indoors. And we have the last one. Yes, it is symbol. All right. So, since you have done very well in our first activity, let us first define each word that you had formed. So, we have the first one, the propaganda. The propaganda is an information, especially of a biased or misleading nature used to promote or publicize a particular political cause or of or point of view next one is bias bias means prejudice in favor of or against one thing person or a group compared with another usually in a way considered to be unfair Next word, endorse. Endorse means to recommend a product in an advertisement. And the last one, symbol, a mark or a character used as a conventional representation of an object, function, or process. So let's have another activity. Mm, I'm sure that these symbols are all very familiar with you. So the first question is, which symbol represents Bacoor City? Mm, you have to think of it. Number two, which symbol refers to three R's? All right, so think I'm going to give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. So we have, yay, letter C. And the next one is letter D. Good job. All right, let's continue. So, have you tried convincing someone to do something for you? Have you tried asking your mom to buy your favorite toy? Have you tried to convince someone to believe in you? How did you do it? Alright, so that is really an exciting story. So, yes, of course you are going to do everything just to... Let them believe, let your mom buy, all right, and do something for you. Okay, you will think of all the ways. So this today we are going to think we are going to study of all the techniques that you may use in order to convince others to do, to learn, and to convince them. All right, so we have the first picture. Look at that picture. Mm. It seems that this is very yummy, right? Look at the picture. Are you going to buy this? Oh, really? Yes? Why? Or why not? Wow, your reason is so good. Okay, so remember that biases are judgment based on personal point of view. While propaganda refers to the spreading of information, ideas, or rumors that is meant to make people accept them. The ideas may be false or misleading. Biases and propaganda are both used to influence people to persuade, believe, buy, or do something. There are varied propaganda devices that can influence you to make judgment. These are commonly used in advertisement, texts, passages, and or messages that you have watched, read, or heard. So, we are going to study today the different propaganda devices. Let's start with the bandwagon. You are attracted to use the product or join an activity because everyone is doing it. Example, 
Join an educational trip to art in the city. Buy two tickets and get one free. Join thousands of learners who have appreciated the beauty of arts in their lives for several times. So, what are you waiting for? It is worth the experience. This device encourages an individual to do the same activity as experienced by another or by a number of people. Alright, so I'm going to show you a picture of an ad using bandwagon. So we have here the drink everybody knows. So everybody here helps the, the audience to think that everyone is really drinking Coca-Cola. So they're going to buy and drink Coca-Cola too. Alright, so we have also the McDonald's hamburger. Over 99 billion served. See? The word 99 billion served here encourages you to buy McDonald's hamburger. Next one, plain fox. You are encouraged to use a product because it is what fox at home are using. This uses ordinary people as endorser to show that the product is being used by usual person. Example, this electric fan is assembled for you to feel the ambience of nature. Feel the breeze of natural air within the corners of your home. Use soap guard. It can keep your germ. It can keep you germ free for the next twenty four hours. So let's have this one. So this is an example of a picture ad which used plain fox. So here they are using the ordinary children and also here the ordinary housewives. All right, using joy and the other one is using downy. All right, so the next one is testimonial. You are convinced to use a product because it is endorsed or confirmed by a well-known personality, usually artist. Example, Kimmy Jones, a well-known basketball player, says that Abibas is the best sporting shoes he has ever used. Juana de la Cruz, famous stage actor, says Compino will always keep you awake while at work. This propaganda device utilizes famous or influential people to testify about the beauty of certain product to win the interest of the customer. See? Alright. So we have here the example. We have Chris Aquino give her testimony about iced coffee and also James Reed and Nadine Lustre, the famous actor and actress. Okay? They are eating burger steak of Jollibee. Alright, next one, name calling. It is a device that persuades you to avail the product or service because of the negative image it creates against another product or service. Example, taste our original chicken in a sal unlike other roasted chickens which use chemicals in preparing their products. Our chicken are roasted using our secret and natural spices and ingredients. This propaganda uses advertisement war with other products in the market. Why war? Because they are comparing two products and they are telling the other products not good as theirs. Okay? This is an example of name calling. So we have here, oh see, this one is with the MSG. This one is without. So what are, what will you you what will you buy? Of course this one without, right? Okay, next one. Look at this. They are comparing the difference between the Whopper and the Big Mac. Okay, so they're comparing the size, which is which. Okay, so next one is the glittering generality. You give in because you are overwhelmed by, by vague sweeping statement that usually comes in slogan or simple catch phrases. Air, for example, we have... Air Philippines, the spirit of the Filipino, is the greatest airline ever in this country. It powered by latest technology, offering exquisite comfort and satisfaction for frequent and regular flyers. See? Alright, so we are really cat we our, our interest were caught by this uh, statements. Okay, so here is the example of glittering generality. We have Gatorade always wins. So if you're an athlete and you want to win, of course, you are encouraged, you will be encouraged to drink Gatorade because it always wins. And this one, you're in good hand with Metro Bank. This is very catchy. Everybody can sing this song. All right, so we call that gen glittering generality. So, next one is the technical jargon. It uses unfamiliar or highly technical terms to impress, 
confused or deceived consumers or audience. It does not really explain how it is connected with what is being promoted. Example, Sayumar with lactobacillus rota strain is good for your tummy. Actually, I didn't know about this, the lactobacilli shirota. I don't know that. So, sometimes some people, ordinary people, were caught by these two statements. And so, they, were, they want to buy it. All right? So, here is the example of it. All right? So, here is the technical jargon. It's so really very, very noisy here. So we have, it's paid on earth, relocating implement. So we have your demystifying cell phone lens jargon. So it's really high te high, highly technical. So sometimes other people really want to, do, to, to buy it even if they do not understand. All right. So we have here, the next one is the appeal to fear. It scares or frightens consumers so that they, they will either patronize or avoid a product or service. Example, cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. It may result to cancer or other respiratory illness. So, this is also this also can be seen in cigarette packaging, but still other people keep on using it, All right? So this is one example. I don't want I won't wear a helmet. It makes me look stupid. See, this shows the result of not wearing a helmet. So it will really scares you. So what you're going to do is that you're going to wear a helmet. This one, stop smoking kills. See. All right, you will be feared if you keep on looking at this. So, that is appeal to fear. All right, so next one. Powerful words. It chooses either pleasant or hideous sounds to either lure or drive people away from something. Shampoo commercial saying soft, smooth, shiny, shiny hair to convince the audience to patronize the product. So, this soft, silky, shiny hair really wants you to have that kind of hair so you will be able you, you really want to use that product too all right this one the powerful words choose happiness of course everybody wants to be happy so they're going to cook to 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 drink coca-cola and this one stop the violence see that is a powerful powerful word stop the violence don't break don't i mean don't drink and drive see powerful words powerful picture Next one. Remember, propaganda is not only used in prints or broadcast media, but also in any professional engagement with the purpose of convincing the audience to believe in their, view, in their views, like political rally and direct selling of products. All right. So let's have the learning task one. Identify the propaganda devices used in the following advertisement. Write your answers in your notebook. So you're going to answer only... What kind of propaganda or propaganda technique or propaganda devices were used in this state in this uh, ad? So number one, look at that. We can do it. Number two, bacteria never stops building up in your mouth. Look at the picture. Next one, creamy, dreamy, icy, chocolatey, mochas. I'm loving it. All right, the Mac Cafe in McDonald's. Number two. Burgers take a look at Ann Curtis here. All right. So what is what kind of 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 propaganda is that? And this one. Imagine kung lahat tayo nag-enervon. So this is all about multivitamins, enervon. All right. So in your notebook, after answering that learning task one, you're going to finish this statement today and learn about. So you're going to write everything that you have learned from this video. Alright, so there you have it guys. Thank you very much. So please don't forget to, to subscribe, share, and um, of course watch my videos. So see you next time. Bye!